Hi friends, Nicole Card from Berkshire Health Systems. Welcome to lunchtime yoga. I am using a mat. Feel free to just use the floor space. If you'd like to have a blanket or a towel, a cushion, when we get to our knees, go ahead and grab that now. Also any props, any blocks, if you do have them, if you are working through a home practice. This session is 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start right at the top of our mat. Feet are underneath our hips. Feel free to go even wider if you'd like to. Let's just take a couple of shoulder rolls up towards our ears, down the back. Breath in as we reach our arms up and down. Let's take one more inhale and exhale. And then bring your shoulders up to your ears and just kind of hold them and then release with a sound like a ha. Good. Go ahead and bring your shoulders up to your ears. Inhale and exhale. Ha. Breath in. Slightly bend your knees. We'll sweep our arms up towards the sky. Slight bend of your elbows. Go ahead and flip your left palm as we grab onto the left wrist. Take a nice little side stretch over to the right. Feel that left side waist open up. Relaxing the head, the jaw. Breathing in and out. Let's come all the way back up through center. Grab onto the right wrist, flip your right palm, and then side stretch over towards the left. Breathing in and out. Press down into that right foot as you come back through center, sweep your arms down by your side body. And then from here, finding an interlace, if that's comfortable, punching the knuckles down. Or you can also grab onto opposite wrists. We're just encouraging the shoulders to open, broaden through the collarbones. Take a deep breath in. If it feels okay on the neck, just lift your head. Exhale out. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Releasing the interlace. Reach your arms up towards the sky. And then hinging forward, bending from your hips. Releasing your head, your shoulders. Feel the spine just waterfall down. Feel free to heel toe a little wider with your feet. From here, you're going to grab onto opposite elbows, creating a little rag doll as you rock from side to side. And taking this time to find this inversion, head below the heart. Nice little decompression for your spine as you relax. And go ahead and release your hands down. Step your left leg back in space. This is where a blanket or a towel might come in handy. You'll release your left knee down, walk your hands up to your right quad, ripple up through your spine, and then sweep your arms up. Interlacing your hands behind your head. Elbows go wide as you lay your head back into your hands. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Reach your arms up towards the sky as you start to hinge forward, frame your right foot. Go ahead and pick up your back knee, finding this low lunge. And then bend your back knee, a little spring to shoot that left foot forward. Once again, come back to the forward fold, shake the head out, the jaw. Press down into your feet. As you roll up through your spine, you'll sweep your arms up. And right back down. Exhale, hinging. Come all the way down. Relax the head. Relax the jaw. Right leg will step back. Breathe in. Right knee gently down. Breathe out. Walk your hands to your left quad. Roll up through your spine, keeping your back toes curled. Reach up. Hands behind your head. Find an interlace. Lay back into your hands. Imagining we're all taking that tropical February vacation. Breathe in. 
and out. And arms reach up. Frame that left foot. From here, two options. You can step back the knee to a table, or you'll step back to a downward dog as you lift your hips, bending the knees. If you're in the tabletop, just think about like just rocking the hips slightly from side to side. Downward dog, paddling through your knees, your feet pressing the earth away, keeping a slight bend in your knees. If you're kind of living in a tight body today, you can walk your feet closer together or a little further back. We'll all take our time to come down to our knees slowly. Hands a little broader than your shoulders. Let's go ahead and take a cow. Inhale, curl your toes, lift your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. And then exhale, mad cat, untuck the toes. We're gonna round the spine, chin to chest, puff up that upper back, shake the head. Curling your toes, breathing in, little bend of your elbows, inhale. And exhale, round. Maybe come up to tented fingers, feel a little bit more space underneath the armpits. And last one, curling your toes, inhale. Exhale, rounding, giving space to the low back. And coming back to a neutral tabletop, we're going to curl our right toes and then reach that right leg back so it starts to hover. Pull the low belly in if it starts to hammock down. Put a little bit more weight into that right hand if you start to teeter to the left. Option to stay here or feel free to extend your left arm, a little extra balance. Breathing in, we're going to curl inward, elbow to knee or just chin to knee. Breathe out, exhale, rounding the upper back once again. Let's take a few more, inhale, going for length, and then exhale, curl, curl. Thank y'all for being with me today, so we're all in this together. Breathe in, breathe out as we curl. Inhale, let's just hold length in, breathe. And exhale, left hand down, right knee down. Curling the left toes, just start to scrub those toes back on the mat. Pull the low belly up and in. It's almost like you can feel a nice little platter that you can balance on your low back. You'll lift your left leg, maybe extend your right arm. Hug that shoulder blade back into place. Breathe in. We're going to curl and round. Breathe out. Breathing in, that right hip is staying in line with the right knee. Breathing out. Let's take one more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale as we curl. Inhale, just lengthen. Holding here, breathing in. And exhale, breathing out. Right hand down, left knee down. Go ahead and sit back into a child's pose. I like to go wide with my knees, giving my belly space to breathe. Feel free to come down to the forearms or extend your arms up, out. Breathe in, breathe out. Child's pose is also called, called wisdom pose. It's just a reminder to slow down. This is great just to welcome into your body little reset any time of day. Coming back up when you're ready. Let's go ahead and walk our knees in. We're gonna step our right leg back, followed by our left. So coming into this plank position, hands broader than the shoulders. Just gaining some strength here, pull the low belly in and start to rock forward to the toes and back. See if you can just look slightly forward with the eyeballs as opposed to the whole head lifting. We want to be nice to the back of our neck. Let's just slide forward, keeping the hips, the shoulders in the same line. 
When you're ready, come on down to your knees slowly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your hips, making your way to downward dog. Tabletop as an option. And then you'll start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Give yourself a little hug here. Let's slide our hands up our shins, finding a little halfway lift. Think shoulders back, hips forward, tucking the chin. And then exhale, fold, curl in. Let's take one more of those. Inhale, halfway lift, breathe in, reaching through the crown of the head, tucking the chin. Exhale, fold. Rounding up through your spine, bend to your knees. Take it slow. Roll your shoulders all the way up. Let's go ahead and just step to the middle of our mat. Bringing your hands up to heart center. And exhale. Hands come into heart center. Close your eyes. Deep breath. Exhale out. Embracing one hand on top of the other. As we close our practice, bringing to mind's eye a loving person who brings kindness to your heart. Bring them in towards your center. See that person, see that joy, that love. And with those same emotions, start to bring in those feelings towards yourself, loving, kindness, and joy. May you move with grace for the rest of the day. Thank you all so much.